So here's a question for you. Have you ever watched an apocalyptic event on TV? So that actually might depend on how old you are. To call it smashing would be an understatement. Scientists say the planet Jupiter will have a close encounter with a comet this summer. Close heck, the comet's going to hit it. Q1, the big one, the fragment of the comet has hit Jupiter. In 1994, the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 was captured by Jupiter, ripped apart, and then it slammed into the planet. Now, the largest pieces of the comet carried more energy than all nuclear weapons currently on Earth. And if the comet had hit Earth, most life would have been completely annihilated. We're talking about 100 million megatons of kinetic energy. 100 million megatons. Earth has been bombarded by asteroids many times through its history, from the extinction of the dinosaurs to the 2013 Chelyabinsk asteroid. But the Shoemaker Comet was proof that large impacts still happen in our solar system. And because of that, our existence on this planet is not guaranteed. So, are we safe right now? One of the first scientific efforts to try and answer that question started right here on the University of Arizona campus. Now headquartered on campus is Space Watch Observatory, which has two telescopes dedicated to asteroid hunting. They're located about 50 miles from here on Kitt Peak National Observatory. Uh, this is the last image that was taken this morning uh, before closing up uh, off of the mosaic camera on the 36 inch telescope next door. The first step in finding dangerous asteroids is of course finding the asteroids. Asteroids are found by taking lots and lots of pictures at the same point in the sky. Asteroids appear as little points of light, just like stars, but they move compared to the background. So are there any asteroids or anything visible in this or no? I was searching for one. <laughs> Finding unknown asteroids is only one part of the challenge. Today, Space Watch doesn't even look for unknown asteroids. Instead, they have the equally important job of following up on observations from other observatories. Follow-up observations are needed to precisely determine the orbits of asteroids, and thus, tell if they're a danger to Earth. So far, these steps are good, but we still haven't addressed the biggest challenge. How do we know that an asteroid that we haven't found won't surprise us? So in 1992, a congressional report titled Space Guard brought public awareness to the threat of asteroids larger than one kilometer. Asteroids of this size pose a threat to human civilization as a whole. Now, along with heightened fears from the Shoemaker Comet, this eventually led to a congressional mandate that NASA locate 90% of asteroids larger than one kilometer within 10 years. So how do we know if we've found 90% of an asteroid population? If we search for 10 years and find 500 asteroids, how do we know if that is 90% or just 10%? So imagine the population of asteroids is like these blue golf balls and red ping pong balls. The red represent asteroids we haven't detected. The blue are those we have detected. When we search for asteroids, it's like we randomly pick a ball out of the group of both known and unknown asteroids. If it is blue, we just put it back. But if it is red, we replace it with a blue one. As we search, we pick out more balls, and eventually more and more balls will become the blue golf balls. The more of the population we find, the more we expect to pull out blue rather than red. By comparing the frequency of discovered asteroids we detect to the frequency of undiscovered, we can mathematically determine how much of the population we have discovered. Spacewatch, along with other observatories, reached their goal of discovering 90% of asteroids larger than one kilometer. So far, we haven't discovered any large asteroids that will hit the Earth. The probability of a large impact within the next 200 years is extremely small. So, we're safe, right? Well, don't feel so comfortable just yet. 90% means that there's still large asteroids out there that haven't been detected. Additionally, small asteroids are much, much more common than large asteroids. The asteroid that hit Chelyabinsk, for example, was only 20 meters, but it still sent more than 1,000 people to the hospital. Asteroids of that size are extremely unlikely to be detected before they hit Earth. Your morning commute, 
could look like this.